Hello, Adam Omakaias here. I'm going to treat you, teach you a quick Photoshop trick. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to add hair, remove hair, make somebody bald, make somebody have somebody else's hair, add eyes. Whatever you want to do, you do it with these kind of tools. I'm going to do it real quick, so try to follow along. I have a picture of five seconds of summer here. I'm going to use Luke Hemming's hair, and I'm going to put it on my bald ass head. So first thing, I just need to make my image a little bit smaller. And basically, when you do this, you're just looking for images that are lit the same, shot from the same, same angle, and the faces look about the same proportion. So if something's shot really close up and wide, and then another thing's shot really zoomed in and far away, it's not going to work because that's going to distort different parts of their body. You want it to look similar. And you can see we kind of look similar. Not really. But <laughs> first thing I'm going to do is just drag him over to here. And perfect. And next thing I'm going to do is get rid of this image so you can actually see the palette behind it. You want to match our faces so that they're pretty much the same. Same size, same length, and all that stuff. And you can do that by making the opacity 50% and then just kind of lining it up. So line up the eyes, the lips, the ears, most important, kind of the outside of the face because we're not going to be using his eyes or anything. We're using his hair, his ears I think we're going to use in this photo because of how it's kind of sizing up. And then kind of guess where the top of his head is. You can't see the top of his head. You can see the top of my head. Something like right there, I think, would work. Let's squeeze this in a little bit. Perfect. Let's start with that and see what we get. And next, I'm going to cut out his hair. So I'm going to highlight all this stuff right here because that's going to select the background using the quick selection tool. I'm sorry, you can't see the tools right now. So I'm going to add a layer mask. And you can see that cut out his face. Invert that layer mask. And now we have just his face. Right click on that and click Refine Mask. What Refine Mask is going to do is going to just draw basically around the edges of the hair here. And it's going to select the little lines so you couldn't select on your own. And the idea of this Photoshop job isn't to make it look perfect, but make it look funny, believable enough that it's funny, if that makes sense. So now you can see all those little hairs are highlighted. And then you just click OK. Perfect. Then what we want to do is get rid of everything else that we don't need. So we're going to click on that mask, get a black brush. Black brush gets rid of everything. Make it a little thicker and just draw all this, get rid of all this, get rid of all this. Don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. Oh no, not his hair. We need his hair. Get rid of it, get rid of it. Don't need his face. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there we go. Make a little soft rubber brush. Paint around in here. And actually, I do want to get a little bit of his ears in here. So what we're going to do is just paint them back in. It's okay if it's not perfect. It doesn't really matter in this scenario. Don't want your cheek. Just want your ear. And you can see my ear is kind of like peeking out from behind. And we don't want that. So I'm actually going to get rid of my own ears on the layer beneath. And just paint his ears in. So turn his layer off. Go to my layer. I'm going to stamp this background right here. And we're just going to copy it onto mine. There we go, so get rid of my ears. Perfect. Go away, ears. They're too big. Blah. Perfect. Uh-huh. And that's a pretty sketchy job, but that's exactly what we're going for. And another thing we can do is kind of try to match the face tones. So you can add a hue and saturation layer here. Just kind of make mine a little yellower so it matches even better. That was pretty good to me. And that's how you turn me into a dude with nice hair. And you can pretty much do that for anybody. Um and you can get a lot more, I guess, detailed with this. But I just wanted a quick thing so that you guys could do it as well. And I think if you inverse this layer, yeah, there he is bald. So Luke Hemmings bald doesn't look nearly as good as I do with hair. But uh, yeah, that's a Photoshop tutorial. Go ahead and do it yourself. Add some hair. I'll give you this photo so you can download it and use my head if you want to. Or you can just Google some images. And then just hashtag it, AE hair at. And I'll look them up and I'll reblog them, post the best ones on my Tumblr. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Hello. How are you? It's good to be back home. I'm here in San Diego. How are you doing? How are you doing? Doing, doing, doing. I haven't recorded.